Hi guys, back again. Blueberry mash has been on the go for a week. So what we're gonna to do today, we're gonna to measure the alcohol strength. Andy's gonna take the bung and the lid off. So here we go. This is gonna show you when he gets the lid off, what the mash should look like once it's been on the go for a week. As you can see, we've got a solid cake formed on the top of the solids from the blueberries, which is absolutely fantastic. And as Andy puts that down, if you look carefully where his hands are, you can see the solid cake and the little gas bubbles form in between, which is the natural fermentation. So the lid's off, guys. And he's just going to take his little wooden spoon and he's going to give that mix a real good hammering. Here we go. Nice strong mix. Just get all that solids from the cake above and the liquid below mixed up together again and then we can get at the juices to get an alcohol. So Andy's just finished stirring. What he's now going to do is he's going to take a small sample of the mash and we're going to put it through a bog standard normal coffee filter, just like you see in the film here. And that'll take any impurities out so that the vinometer works correctly. Don't drink it now, Andy. We've got to get finished making the snaps first. That's it. There you go, guys. That is a vinometer and we're going to pour into the top which is just there the liquid and Andy will then show you having filtered the mash works. we're now going to take the venometer and Andy's going to pour the filtered mash into the venometer so that the top part of it is full and once it's full as it is there now wait let the drops come out the bottom two or three once we get a couple of drops coming out like we are now we turn the venometer upside down we empty the mash out of it then we hold it up to the line so Andy's holding it up there we've got an alcohol content reading of 11 percent volume what a great start to this mash cheers so, guys same as always guys look at Andy clean tidy everything we use has got to be spotless when we finish the lids back on the buns in the mash that's going back in the storage room for another week. Monitor it every day. Venometer has been cleaned, back in its container, absolutely spotless. And don't forget, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Any comments you've got, come back to us.